Good Monday morning, friends. Hope everyone had a nice weekend. Today I wanted to talk a little bit about commitment. You know that a lot of times we make promises and then we don't keep them. Some people say it's a white lie or doesn't matter, I didn't mean it. So that's not commitment. The Lord expects us to be committed to Him in everything we say and do. In fact, in the Bible, Proverbs 16.3, Commit your work to the Lord and your plans will be established. That's our responsibility to say, serve God. And give everything to the Lord in prayer. That's our duty to obey Him faithfully. When I had my cancer, well, before that, I had, God's timing is not always our timing. He waits for the perfect time, the perfect hour, which may be years. I had to wait 20 years. Actually, probably like around 25 years to get healed of my migraines. In fact, my little son, who was five years old, had to get himself out of bed, dressed, brush his teeth, eat breakfast, walk to school, all by himself because I could not even function, not even do my daily chores. So I did. I went to the Lord in prayer over and over. I went to the church and kneeled at the altar. I also had my head anointed with oil, which is what is in the book of James. <clears throat> in the New Testament, it tells you to go to your elders and have them pray for you and anoint your head with oil. That's when I got my healing. And it wasn't like, oh, just mir this miracle that just happened and the next day it was gone. It was a series of things I had to learn. I had to read some books that were not commonly known on why we have some vitamin deficiencies that cause migraines. So I had to get these pills. I already was on doctor meds, but these, these magnesium pills, which totally helped me with the combination of my doctor pills or medication. Same with my cancer, but I'll talk about that at some later date. Okay, so there's this pastor or this minister at a talk show. This is from Reggie White, his football player Reggie White, who I believe is deceased now. A talk show host invited a minister of the gospel on his program. At one point, the talk show host asked the man of God why Christians were so narrow-minded in thinking and that they thought they were the only people that were going to go to heaven. So the minister quoted scripture. Uh, I wish I knew my scripture better. It comes to my mind sometimes, but I hardly ever know what book it's in, what chapter it's in. But. Um, Anyways, the Lord, when he talked to the devil, he um, used scripture as a reply, and that uh, made the devil go away, because the devil knew that that was the truth. So the minister says, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me, which is from John 14, 6. And then the preacher said, the minister said, I didn't say that, God's, God did. If you don't agree with it, 
Tell God, not me. Wow. That's really a brave answer. I wonder how many of us Christians would say that. But be committed to the Lord in everything you do. Prayer, praise, and supplication. That's how faith works. We can expect God to help us in His own timing and His own way. Follow God's will. When our work aligns with God's will, things will work out. It might not be what we want, but we have to trust God to know that what is the best for us. So here's, uh, let's see the scripture I wanted to read. Oh, this is out of John 15, verses 1 through 7. I am the vine, and my father is the gardener. He cuts off every branch in me that bears no fruit. While well, every branch that does bear fruit, he prunes, so that it will be even more fruitful. You are already clean because of the word I have spoken to you. Remain in me, and I will remain in you. No branch can bear fruit by itself. <clears throat> it must remain in the vine. Neither can you bear fruit unless you remain in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. If a man remains in me and I in him, he will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. If anyone does not remain in me, he is like a branch that is thrown away and withers. Such branches are picked up, thrown into the fire and burned. If you remain in me and my words remain in you, ask whatever you wish and it will be given to you. Amen. What a great chapter and verses these are. Okay, I guess I'm going to take off now. I ask the Lord to bless every one of you. Keep me in your prayers. I keep everyone who's suffering any kind of a loss or grief or financial situation or stress or just overall health problems, diabetes. I hope that the Lord will heal you in his own time, in his own way. So I will be back in the morning covering another subject. God bless. Have a wonderful day. Bye for now.